Hey everyone, as this year 2023 comes to an end, I want to share something with all of you which like what I have gone through, what I have learned and uh, how I have been able to do in 2023. So I'll start with the lessons which I have literally learned in this 2023 and these are some precious lessons which I probably could not have learned otherwise. So in 2023 for the for the first time i felt what depression feels like i had absolutely no idea what it feels like until i went into it for the for the first time i felt that people just come and go and you absolutely can't do anything about it for the first time i felt that no matter how hard you try at something Sometimes things just won't make sense. For the first time I felt that so-called closed ones and friends are actually waiting for your fall and then have fun with it. For the first time I felt that you do everything for some people and all you get in return is absolutely nothing. For the first time I started felt alone even being with the right people. For the first time in my life I started comparing myself and my life to someone else who is doing better than me. And this is probably the worst mistake of my life. But wait, this is positive still. I got some true gems, true friends in my life who who kept me going. and if if it weren't for them i'd probably have given up they have been there in my toughest time they've asked me they have called me and they have always supported me in 2023 i i became a joe stock speaker a dream that i saw since 2017 in 2023 god was very 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 kind to me as always and god was always with me in my toughest times and every single time i felt alone i felt like giving up and god was like come on man you just can't do it and uh, one of my biggest dreams which i have been able to live in 2023 is is to be able to keep my family united and happy and to be able to provide for their needs Now this is something which I take most pride in. 2023 I have been most grateful for myself for just hanging in there and for not quitting. Something that I take a lot of pride in. So overall 2023 was more of a low than a high to me. However, I am beyond thankful and grateful that I fought my own depression, my own battles. I have kept my family united. I have worked on my projects and of course, I'm so thankful for some people who I'll always be indebted to and who's always been there. And most importantly, I'm still alive and I have been working my face off for my dreams despite the situations. 2023 Thank you so 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 much for all the lessons and amazing time. And dear 2024, please be kind to me. I promise I'll make you prouder than ever before.